So in this lesson, we're going to have a look at two-point perspective, which is a design technique we can use to add some excitement to our design portfolio work um, when we're working on a, a specific project. So before we start designing uh, concepts for uh, a brief, the first thing we need to do is understand the, uh, the basics of the technique um, and how you can actually use this uh, skill uh, within your own work. So the basic principle is uh, the top and bottom of any vertical line go to, uh, go to two uh, vanishing points that are on a horizon line. So on the page here you can see I've sketched a single horizon line You've got a point on the left and a point on the right. So there are three uh, sort of distinct views within a two-point perspective technique. There is uh, an above-the-line view, an on-the-line view, and a below-the-line view. And we're just going to, uh, I'm going to run through now and show you how you can lay those out, and you're going to have a go at doing this. And we'll do that by sketching three uh, cuboids. So the easiest one to look at first is the on-the-line technique. So with that um, common technique used in architectural design, if you look at any work done by a famous architect, Aldo Rossi, um, a lot of his presentation technique used the uh, on-the-line view. So if you sketch a vertical line, and then we go from the top and bottom of that line back to each perspective point, And then to finish that off, we're just going to add in two vertical lines. So I'm just going to accentuate the outside of this so you can see that clearly. Okay, so it's quite a dramatic effect. Um, and obviously for a, a tangible, like a handheld object, uh, you probably wouldn't, unless you're trying to add drama to your, your visualisation, you wouldn't necessarily, uh, as you look at the object, see this. This is sort of for larger um, designs, things that you would see in real life, like a building or a large vehicle or a train, something like that. So above the line, um, so the on-the-line view is typically used for sort of product design, architectural views. Above the line, again, for interior interior architectural design or um, aeronautical design, things that are above uh, a horizon line in the air. So again, I'll take my vertical line, mark the top and bottom, and I'm going to go back to this perspective point. It's important to rotate your page. I find this a lot easier when doing long uh, vertical, long, long, uh, long straight lines uh, back to those perspective points. I find it much easier to move in a horizontal plane with my hand rather than trying to bring my hand down the down the page. Okay, so again, we then add in two more vertical lines. We'll add one here and one here. So the top of this one is already going back to perspective point one. The bottom is also already going back. Uh, should be, but I got that first line slightly out. And then the bottom of this line and the top of this line. So the top is already going back to two and the bottom needs to go back to one. So rather than put a line straight through my other uh, model, I'll just eye that up and sketch that in there. So now I can accentuate those lines and just make them nice and clear. So the sort of ways you might use that technique, um, lighting design, uh, you might be designing a, the aesthetic of a, a turbine engine to go on a, a new aeroplane wing, something like that. And then lastly we've got the, the below the line view, so common uh, technique used in um, automotive presentation. So again from the top and bottom of the line we go back to perspective point 2 and then to 1. And then we'll add our vertical lines uh, to that. Okay, so this one here. And then we need to go from the top of this line 
back to point one. So I'm going to rotate my page again. Strike that line nice and accurately. So the key thing we're trying to do in this modular work is build up our freehand sketching techniques. So the more you can practice without a ruler, striking those nice straight lines within your sketch work will benefit you uh, later on. So that's the overview of what we're trying to do um, and what you're going to have a go at doing. If you want to, to make this nice and clear for your, your, your revision purposes, you can add a coloured line in as your horizon line, just so that's nice and clear uh, for when you're, you're looking back at your work. I think that's the key, the key thing to remember here. We're working off that horizon line. Um, and then what we'll do is, in the next video, have a look at how we can add some uh, shadow to these objects um, on the page or, or, and cut uh, elements of them out to perform different profiles.